As the doors open on this flying machine as a teaching tool, the doors of adventure close. The Canadian Coast Guard is upgrading their fleet and donated nine of their older choppers to different colleges across the country, including Dawson Creek's Northern Lights College campus. We were successful, so we got uh, this helicopter, the MB-105, donated to us from the Canadian Coast Guard. This model was the first light twin-engine helicopter in the world, combining stability and maneuverability. We picked it up and had it shipped from Ottawa. The helicopter was in service since 1989 with the Coast Guard and was donated this year to the college. It's our first twin-engine helicopter. Now, we don't know where this helicopter has served, but it has one unique feature that could give it away, a wire guard, and that's primarily used for search and rescue. What's unique about this copter is the fact that its two engines are from a Rolls-Royce C20. Each engine has 450 horsepower. It also has a different rotor head mast. It's a single cast piece of titanium and it doesn't have um, what you would consider typical uh, snubbing action. So it's a different design and it's something that they can visually uh, use. The helicopter will be put to good use. There are many different functions that the students will study and learn about. Blade removal installation, the rotor head mast removal installation, engine removal installation, fuel system operation, and navigation systems on, on board the, uh, the helicopter. Manning says the helicopter will be incorporated in the curriculum next year and will provide the aviation students the tools they need to work on this particular model when they fly off into their careers. Very excited, very thankful to the Ministry and the Coast Guard and a welcome opportunity for the students. Eric Tashner, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.